In this video, I will show you how to quickly and easily buy the cryptocurrency Banker. I will show you step by step how to exchange money from your bank account into Banker. We do all this with the, what I think is the best platform to trade cryptocurrencies and that is Binance. Binance is the world's largest exchange and you can deposit fiat and trade all relevant cryptocurrencies. The fees are very low at 0.1% and if you use the link from the video description you will get another 10% discount on all trading fees so you will end up with only 0.09% fees. To create an account simply enter your details here and then you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and log in for the first time the page will look like this. In order to buy our cryptocurrency we have to follow these 5 simple steps. First we have to create a Binance account, then we have to verify it. Then we can deposit fiat money and then exchange the fiat money for US dollar tether. You can also skip these two steps by just buying US dollar tether directly with your credit card. In our last step we can then purchase the cryptocurrency. Let's move on with our next step which is to verify our account. If you want to buy cryptocurrencies with fiat money, for example euros, dollars and so on, you need to complete this verification. To do this we click on the icon right here on the top corner and then go to identification. On this page we now have to make sure that our personal details right here are verified like here on the right side. You should have this yellow button with verified like here below and you just have to click on it and then simply upload a picture of yourself and your ID to complete this verification. This is called KYC, know your customer and is simply there to prevent money laundering. Okay. Once you're done with that, now there are two options to buy cryptocurrencies. The easiest way to buy crypto is by using a credit card. If you plan to do that, you can skip the next step and fast forward to the purchase. In the second option, we first have to deposit our fiat money through a bank transfer and then make the purchase. Depending on whether you have a credit card and which option you prefer, you can decide which one to choose. To deposit fiat money into our Binance account, we go to wallet on the top right here and then go to Fiat and Spot Wallet. Here we can see all of our balances that we have in our Binance account. Up here we can see our Fiat balances and down here we can see all of our crypto balances. To deposit money we click on Deposit right here at the top. Then we need to make sure that Fiat is selected right here and then we can choose whichever currency we want to deposit. Depending on where you live, you can select your currency right here and then you can select your payment method right down here. In the US, for example, this would be a transfer via the SWIFT system and if you live in the European Union, for example, this would be a bank transfer through the SEPA system. To do this, simply enter the amount you want to deposit right here on the right and then you hit continue. Then you'll find all the relevant information you need for the bank transfer. Very important, don't forget to enter your reference code in the bank transfer, which will be shown right here, so the transfer will be assigned to your account. Once you've made the transfer, you will have to wait one to two days for it to arrive. When the money has arrived, we can easily check this by clicking on wallet again, and then fiat and spot. Then we can see if the money has been credited to our currency account right here. In our next step, we can now exchange our fiat money into US dollar tether. The reason for that is that there's no extra trading pair for every single currency. So the easiest way is to just exchange our deposited fiat money into US dollar tether, and then we can basically buy any cryptocurrency. To buy US dollar tether with our cash balance that we have deposited onto our Binance account, we simply click on buy crypto right here on the left and then go to cash balance. Then we'll get to this page. On the right side right here, we can choose the currency that we have deposited money in. So you will just choose your currency that you have deposited money through a bank transfer. In my case, it would be Euro. Then I can also see my cash balance down here and here I can choose the coin. So I'm gonna click on that and type in USDT for US dollar tether, select it, and then type in the amount I want to trade. In my case, I'm just gonna do all of it, so I'll type in 200 euros, then I click on buy USDT, then I will get to this confirmation page where I can see again exactly how much US dollar tether I'm getting. In this case, it would be 241. 
can see at what price I'm buying, how much fees I'm paying, and how much I'm exchanging in total. Then I'll just click on confirm. Then we'll have to wait for a bit. And once it is done right now, we can see our purchase is completed. Then we can also click on spot wallet again. And then we will see our euro balance is now down. And if we go scroll down to US dollar tether, we can see the money has been credited. If you want to use the second option and you didn't have deposited money through a bank transfer and you just want to buy US dollar tether directly with a credit card, you can do that too. You simply go to buy crypto and then go to credit slash debit card. The page looks pretty similar. We can again choose our currency that we want to pay in. So in this case, just choose the currency that your credit card is in. And then you can select the coin. So we'll click on that and type in USDT again and select US dollar tether. Then we'll have to type in the amount we want to buy of US dollar tether. Let's say we want to buy 500 euros, which is around 604 US dollar tether. Then we can see we have to use our Visa or MasterCard. Then we will just click on buy USDT and then we'll have to enter our card information and confirm the purchase and it's all done. So if you use this option, you will end up with the same result. And if you go to your spot and fiat wallet again, you will have the same results with your balance in USDT credited to that amount that you wanted to deposit. In our last and final step, we can now buy the cryptocurrency. To do that, we just have to click on markets up here, and then we can see all the different trading pairs that we can trade on Binance, which is a whole lot. We just have to make sure that Fiat Markets is selected up here because we are trading with US dollar tether. And then we can search for our coin right here on the right side. So I'm just gonna type in for, we want to buy a bank or network token. So I'm just gonna type in the symbol for that, which is BNT, and then just USDT right after it. And then we can select the trading pair. You could also see up here that it's Banker again, and we get to this trading page where we can see the price chart in the middle. And here on the left side, we can see the order book. So you can see all the um, setting orders up here and all the buying orders down here. You could also place such a buying order if you would choose to make a limit order. You could then set a certain price where you want to buy and an amount. And once that price will be hit by the market price, then your order will be filled. But you could also, I would actually recommend you to choose the easier option. You could also do that, which is to use a market order. And in this case, you're just gonna buy at the current market price and the order will be filled immediately. Up here, we can see our US dollar tether balance again. And with this slide control at the bottom here, you can choose how much percent of that you want to invest. So you could also type it in manually right here, but I'm just gonna take it and put it to 100%. And then all you have to do is click on buy BNT down here and then your order will be filled immediately and the purchase is completed. That's it for this video. Don't forget to register on Binance using the link from the video description to save the 10% on fees. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.